His plane was shot down over Vietnam, and he says those five years as a POW taught him what it takes to be a leader. Now, retired Air Force Colonel Lee Ellis is making it his mission to pass along what he knows to the next generation. His brand new book is called Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability. That hits stores this September. So pre-order it now. Joining me now, Vietnam veteran and former POW Colonel Lee Ellis. Colonel, nice to see you this morning. Good morning. Good to be back with you. Yeah, it's great to have you back here on the show. Those five years obviously changed your life. What happened to you and what did you witness during those years that compelled you these many years later to write this book? Well, I was a young fighter pilot in Vietnam. My airplane was shot down over enemy territory, was captured immediately, taken to Hanoi and spent five and a half years in the Hanoi Hilton and surrounding camps. I guess the thing that I learned being the youngest guy in the camp and the junior ranking guy was I served under some fantastic leaders and what I saw in them was character, courage and commitment. Uh, they were so committed to doing their duty, to being good Americans and living and leading honorably and under the most difficult circumstances where they were tortured and beaten and uh, the most often and, uh, and the most horribly and yet they continued to lead and stuck with the principles that they believed in about honor and so our whole message of mission vision and values was boiled down into return with honor we wanted desperately to go home but with honor and what the example that i saw in them made me want to be that kind of leader and to realize the power of that kind of a leader to build a culture for success Unbelievable. Under those circumstances, still committed to the training that you were given, character, courage, commitment. I want yes. you to take us through these three C's that you write about in the book. Ta take us through character. Well, character, we all think we have good character. We all say we have good character. If you ask an audience, you know, everybody would raise their hand to say, yes, I have good character. And that's all our goal. But the reality is, uh, that's not easy. It's very difficult because every day as a business person, as a school teacher, whatever, we face many difficult decisions. You know, we look at uh, the school superintendent of Chicago is going to jail for uh, financial uh, bribery or whatever you want to call it, kickbacks. We had school teachers in Atlanta. We've got business people. We've got everywhere. We've seen issues with uh, Volkswagen and character issues. So we right. all have to work to guard our character. But with the real thing we need is the courage to carry us through because when our doubts and fears take over, our character starts to waver. And courage is your second C. And look, we're all yeah. ruled by fear. I mean, the things that we make mistakes in our lives, they all come from fear. It all has a trace back to fear. How do we find courage? They really courage? do. Yeah, I think courage is uh, actually, it's almost a decision based upon your principles and values and your passion. You have to reach back and say, who am I? What do I stand for? What are the principles I believe in? And now, how can I engage them? You know, sometimes I'll be making a decision and I'll keep putting it off and I'll say, Lee, why are you putting that off? What are you afraid of? And I'll just sit down and think it through and there is something that's holding me back and it's fear and doubt mm -hmm. and say, okay, You've got to come up with a plan and just go execute it to do the right thing. You don't want to do a knee jerk. You just want to go and do the right thing in a proper, respectful way. And when you do that, you always come out ahead. But you have to have that willingness to move forward right. into your fear. And one of the things you do is talk to a lot of the younger generation. And one of the things that I think maybe they get a bad rap about, the, the millennials, is this idea of commitment. They start something, they stop something. That's your third C. When you talk to young people, how do you talk about commitment? Well, it's really about staying the course. If you look at success in history, uh, one of the key things is passion, but the other one is commitment and staying with it. Uh, just don't quit. You can't beat someone who won't quit. They just keep coming at you and keep coming at you. And I like to think of that uh, in my own mind. In fact, I had a, a picture that recently of, you know, kind of like a cogwheel. It just keeps turning and keeps turning. And if you keep turning long enough, you're going to be successful. Think about an Olympic athlete getting in that pool several times a day and swimming for hours. They just keep working, keep working until someday they achieve that, whether you're a pianist and you're world class. Uh, a pianist or a, a diver or a swimmer or a business person, it takes those, uh, those thousands of hours. Well, you have to stay right. with it, and especially with your character. You just have to remind yourself of who you are and what you stand for and keep going. We have a, an honor code, seven articles that we provide our clients, and it's free online, that uh, seven things about tell the truth, 
Keep your uh, promises. Um, be accountable. Be responsible. Just some simple things, but they're very hard to do, and you just have to keep reminding yourself, stay the course. I love it. Colonel Lee Ellis, we appreciate you joining us on this 4th of July weekend. Thank you for your service to this country.